What's up, girls, boys, and joys? It is I, Yasmin, also known as Glitter Blossom. It's been a few days, eh? I, uh, got busy, you know. I finally found a place. That's cool. Thought you'd all love to know that. Um, but yeah. So, I'm gonna be busy moving in there next week as well, but, uh, we'll see. Anyway. Today, we're going to try some Guilds of Ravnica draft. This will be my first draft video on this channel. I love playing Limited, but I have less experience with it than Constructed. I've drafted a shit ton on Arena at this point. Of course, Arena draft is different from uh, IRL draft, and I've only drafted regularly, like with actual people, like twice ever. And I had a lot of fun. I think I'm like okay enough at it to not be shit, but that's basically all I can say for myself. So, GRN is not my favorite draft format. I don't really love draft formats where you have to keep aggro in mind a bunch, and of course, Boros aggro is super strong. But on the other side of that, you do have things like Demir being amazing, and then, like, Izzet can get pretty nice, but not always. Izzet is my favorite guild from Guilds of Ravnica, it's my favorite guild in general, but, um, well, we'll see. Here's hoping that we don't get forced into an aggro deck. Well... Unmoored Ego sucks <laughs> in Limited. Uh, Inescapable Blaze is pretty good. I think I'm taking the Murmuring Mystic, of course. Like, like... The removal here is nice. Incapable Blaze is great, I get Not great. Good. Okay. Beacon Bolt is amazing, but of course it forces me into two colors. I don't want to be there right now. Uh, Mephitic Vapors is just okay. It's a nice... I don't know if I main or sideboard it, but it's it's a nice board web and such. And then we have a bunch of just tiny dumbasses. Some Selesnia cards that lock it, etc. I think Murmuring Mystic is the pick here. Now, uh, oh, doesn't look like we're being super rewarded for that. I could, Dark Light Agent is like a nice common, but it's, uh, again, different color. I'm, I'm just, sorry, I'm not yet used to, you know, expressing my thought processes while I'm playing, etc., etc. Leapfrog is so mediocre, and I really don't like Book Devourer. A uh, six mana, four five Trampler that reels you really shittily is not great. Not enthused by Lotless Giant either. I don't know. Do I lose anything by not taking a random card? Like, do I lose anything great here? Uh. Like, this is a good card. It's just, I, I don't want to play aggro. I really don't. I don't know, I can't, like, I don't even remember if Siege Worm is good. 5-5 five, five Trample is nice. The Convoke is a shitty tempo loss, but I don't know, I don't know. Uh, there will definitely be a timestamp, because this is going to take a while. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna take the stalwart. I don't want to, but I'm gonna. We'll see. Necrotic wound. Okay. Obviously, uh, this is much better in Golgari than in Izet, but yeah. The Muse Drake is okay, but not not really great. Hellkite Welk is certainly a thing. It's not awful. Uh not really impressed with these. I'm thinking about Electromancer, but it's too early yet, I think. Um, I think we take the removal spell, honestly. Maybe we hope we get Demir or something? Oh, uh, this is not looking good. <laughs> okay, so Never Happened is very iffy, especially since this is best of one, so there is no sideboard in here. Uh, Ledet Champion... Let me read this again. Any number of... Mmm. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Swarm Guild Mage is like... 
very just forcing me into Golgari. But Golgari seems... I don't know. I've seen a bunch of green cards. Some black... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, Dazzling Lights just doesn't seem great. <laughs> it surveils, which is nice, and it costs only one. Is this really the pick over... I'm just going to take the Swarm Guild Mage. Look at us. We are so decisive. Okay. Uh, I really don't like Loxodon Restorer, but it's whatever. Uh, these are just... These are just cards that exist, and I don't like them. Oh, gross. Cosmetronic Wave is definitely a Boros aggro card type thing. And you know what? We're going to try to force control. Fuck it. Fuck you. We're doing it. Okay. Uh, maybe? Christ. Jesus. I don't know. Moonmark, I really don't like Moonmark Painter. I quite like Rhizome Lurcher, but it doesn't seem to be my thing. Maybe I just take a guild game? Maybe we're playing Soul Tie? I don't know, like, Rhizome Lurcher does not fit at all with the Murmuring Mystic. I j and, of course, Swarm Guild Mage doesn't either. I just want to make use of the Murmuring Mystic, honestly. Uh, I guess we take this. Why the fuck not? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not really a fan of anything here. Um, these cards just kind of exist. Like, we could take the Gateway Plaza for the early fixing. Probably, probably a safer pick than the other bullshit. Uh, okay. So, Devious Cover Up is not bad. We're finding. I'm finding some, some control cards. I know, I'm forcing it so painfully, it's the worst, but uh, I really, really hate Veiled Shade. Ugh. These cards are just so underwhelming. I just, like, it just feels like the only cards with a consistent identity that you're going to find in Guilds of Ravnica are cards that I'm not interested in. Um, I mean, if we're going Soul Tie, we're still going Control, so might as well, but it's probably not happening. I could have just taken the Book Devourer for Vault Progress, honestly. It would have made the same difference, really. Um, let's put the Stalwart away, and the Guild Mage away. We'll keep the Electromancer for now, but we're probably playing... Demir rather than Grixis. We'll see. Ugh. I don't like Never Happened. I don't like any of this. So might as well take it, because it's the one we would play. Okay, we're definitely not taking two, so on the off chance we play Golgari, I guess, why not? I really, really hate Moonmark Painter. Really hate it. I'm gonna take this in case we're playing Control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a good rare. Oh, Christ. Okay. All right. Now, I really want to play Izzet. Woof. But oh my god. Oh, there's an artful takedown. Do I really turn down a Drake? Like, this is not happening. Fuck this. I love you, Knight of Autumn, but I'm not playing Selesnya. Oh, do I really turn down an artful take down? I mean, it's a common, so it's coming back probably. Like, or, you know, like we might get another one. I'm not a fan of invert and invent just at all. I think I'm taking the crackling drake and trying for... Oh my god, oh, this is difficult. Oh my god, do I take artful takedown over discovery dispersal? I think I do. Or, like, I think... At this point, we're not playing green. I think I want to play either, like, probably either Izzet or Demir. Grixis seems problematic unless we get a bunch of fixing to make sure that Crackling Drake isn't a problem. I think I take Discovery Dispersal here just because it's... I mean, I don't know. Hmm. Like... It's an uncommon, but 
I really like Artful Takedown. Uh, we're like pretty solidly in control though, whatever we're playing here, we're playing control. Um, hmm. I think it's an Artful Takedown here. I just don't really like Discovery Dispersal all that much. Okay, uh, no, 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 maybe, not really, like, I think with Murmuring Mystic and Crackling Drake, we have probably enough finishers, but we'll see. Um, I have one Electromancer, I guess I'll take the Cyclops over the Dark Blade Agent. We'll see, is there anything here? seems important. We could take a Disdainful Stroke, but with the aggro running around, I think I'm gonna take the fixing and such. Uh, no, no, no. Demir Informant is okay. It surveils too, which is nice, and it has a big body, but I quite like Hired Poisoner. I'm gonna take the Informant, though, just in case we move out of black. Although, okay, at this point, I think I'm comfortable enough playing Sultai. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Uh, not Sultai, Grixis. That's the one. So, do I take another Death Toucher? This is one black black, which kind of sucks. Not really where we want to be in a three-color draft deck. Do I take a second Notion Rain, or do I take a Sonic Assault? Hmm. Sonic Assault does help stem some bleeding. I don't like the bats. Like, I understand they're playable in some decks, but I don't love them. I think I take this over the second no Notion Rain, but I'm not sure. We could just end up removing it. Uh, what does the Dolphin Mesmerist do again? Hmm. No. No. Not what I'm looking for. Silent Darts is... One of those shitty pieces of removal that we definitely don't need. I think we take the Muse Drake here. It's not great, but it's it's whatever. Uh, what about Boar? No. Guess another Dazzling Lights. And at this point, yeah. I mean, this is the only card we would really play anyway. So we take it, and then we don't use it. Uh, we're probably not playing two Dazzling Lights, but we'll see. We're definitely not playing three never happened. Oh yeah, hopefully we get a nice rare in our colors. Ooh. This is an embarrassment of riches. What do we take here? I forget what Rampaging Monument does. Oh, meh. meh. Okay, like... I quite like how skilled mage, but quasi duplicate is like we're not playing that many creatures, but we are playing creatures. I kinda want it, I want it, I want it, I can't turn that down. Oof, I mean this is like we're gonna look at the other cards, but this is just the pick probably. <laughs> like Burglar Rats is okay, the crab is okay, we don't need more punchers, I don't think. Yeah, we just take Price of Fame and feel very, very good about it. Uh, Crater Maker? Maybe, honestly? Like, Barrier of Bones sucks. I think maybe it's the Crater Maker just to destroy any colorless permanents and, like, deal damage? Like, why not? A solid creature in our colors. Does what we need it to do. What the fuck does Crowl Swarm do? Wow. I forgot this existed. If we were really, really short on finishers, I might consider it, but, uh, we are not, and I am not. Fairy Bones is, again, not where I want to be. Street Riot is not at all where I want to be. Fire Urchin is not where I want to be. I'm wondering if I take another piece of Is It Fixing, or if I take the Dark Blade Agent. Like, do we have enough Surveil? It doesn't matter, we can get a bit more surveil. We do have two Dazzling Lights if we really want them, and I guess the bo the Barriers of Bones will probably be free. We really need them, but... I really want to be sure that I can cast my spells. Would I run a fourth gate, though? Would I really? 
I'm not sure. We are playing control, so, like, the tempo loss is not huge. We don't have an enormous top end, really, so... Probably... It does gain Death Touch, which combos really nicely with Dazzling Lights. Oh, I want an Agent. Fuck it. If we lose to Screw, then, like, Color Screw, then I'll remember this, but otherwise, I want an Agent. Sue me. We are not taking a third Dazzling Lights. We are not taking a second Sonic Assault. Goblin Locksmith. No, that's solidly an aggro card. It's not good, so I guess we take a radical idea. Okay, okay, we're back in our first pack. Oh my god. <laughs> I could take a good get again. We're not taking this. Burglar Rat is honestly not awful. Unexplained Disappearance, I quite like as well. Passwall Adept is. Not what I'm looking for. Um, I really want the Burglar Rat. I really want the Burglar Rat. It's a blocker. It makes them lose resources, which matters. It's really shitty to draw later in the game, though, but we have enough good late game draws, I think. Okay, okay. Is that a Creeping Chill? Oh my god, it is. Alright. Uh... Do we have a devious cover of our... Yeah, we do, we do. Okay, okay. So we can theoretically just win by deck out. So we really want to. Do I take this as a guild game? I don't know. Like, I don't want another one of these. This is kind of mediocre. This is mediocre. This is very mediocre. This is not happening. This is not happening. Do I literally take Creeping Chill? Like, it sucks. I think I'm taking... I don't know. We've seen so many Is It and Demir Guild Gates. I legit don't know, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm making, like, obvious mistakes here. Oh, I have not drafted this format nearly enough. And also just, you know, newly. But yeah, we're not taking a second Devious cover-up. Probably. Probably. Hmm. Oh, it only, it only surveils one. And... Hmm, how many creatures do we have to make Necrotic Wound actually usable? I should have been considering that. We have one burglar rat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're not playing blue mark Angel, fuck you. Ten. Okay. Ten is not bad. Fuck it. I'm taking the guild gate. <laughs> I am taking the guild gate. We are not really lost for resources, so why not? Probably the is okay. Might not play it, I'm not sure. It trades and it has lifelink, so why not? <sighs> Take the dart. I'm not taking the bats, and I'm not sorry. Wish coin crab is just such a sad story. It's just it's not happening. What if one Verber I do again? Hmm. Why? Why? I guess, like, Golgari shit, maybe? Is that what it's themed after? Probably, yeah. Um. I guess we're probably not playing three dragon lights. Jesus Christ. Finally, the Barrier of Bones comes in. Street Riot sucks, but it's an uncommon, so we are taking it for Vault Progress. These cards all suck, so we'll take... The card for Vault Progress. We are not playing 4 Never Happened. Fuck you. Holy shit. <laughs> it's never happening. Leave, please. How many never... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Never Happened Tribal. Like, I love the artwork. Demir Assassins have the precision to slay a single memory. Okay, so... Do we use our Demir or Izet sleeves here? Uh, or do we use something else to fake them out, like Golgari or some shit? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna try. Like usually, I'm all for taking even the tiniest of uh, advantages, but I'm not gonna try to go that far. I like the effect on the Izet. Sleeve more, but I like the 
the contrast of the Demir sleeve more. I'm gonna take the Demir sleeve. Okay, uh, what is our color distribution looking like? Okay, so red is our splash, but we're also playing a crackling drake because we're good at this game. Uh, our curve is kind of, yeah, okay. Uh, let's not, um, I really don't want, uh, let's see, how many, so with the Dark Blade Agent, we need a critical mass of Surveil cards. This Surveil, so that's one, uh, did we cover up to the opposite of that? Uh, that's two, with Notion Rain, that's three, with Mephitic Vapors, although I'm considering taking that out, and it, cla so two, yeah, it clashes with Murmuring Mystic, I don't like it. Uh, that's three. Yeah, um... And that's four, and that's... Five. Okay, yeah. We'll play one Dazzling Lights, honestly. Uh, let's see. Are we playing the bats after all? Are the bats better than the Dazzling Lights? I wonder. Wait, where are the bats? Did I put the bats in? Did I never take bats? I'm sorry, I'm super confused right now. Uh, yeah, I wish Mephitic Vapors was more usable in this deck, but, like, I like my board wipes, but we have enough removal, I think. Like, we have Playcrafter, we have Price of Fame, Awful Takedown. We definitely have enough, and we have, like, blockers and traders and such. Uh, hmm. This is not happening, fuck you. Uh, like, our three drop slot is pretty full, is the thing. So, I don't really want. I never, not even one, I don't think. But, like, then what do I. Am I really playing a bunch of these? Mm. I mean, it's better than. This, I guess? Hmm. We'll try exactly one. See what happens. Do we put Crackling Drake on there? I don't think so. I like Murmuring Mystic's artwork more. God. Demir has such amazing artwork. So just is it, but I'm just looking at Artful Takedown. Okay. Alright. So, let's see, uh... Let's see how far we go. We've probably already been recording for like 20 minutes or some shit. We have been recording for 22 minutes. Holy shit. Alright. Well, that's, you know, to be expected from a draft. I might split this up into two videos. We shall see. I might just make it a really long video. Who the fuck knows? Probably two videos. I mean, that's me being optimistic about us not going X3. Even then, it might be two videos. Arena! Please. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Killer Machine. With Shivalfip as the avatar. Very nice. Okay, well, this is certainly a hand of cards that are being played. I think I want to get the Gateway Plaza down as soon as I can, I think. Beam Splitter Mage. Very nice. Okay. Alright, so at this point we can cast all our spells, I'm pretty sure. And that's okay. Alright, so what are we doing here? <laughs> I guess we're putting up a blocker. Chromatic Lantern is very interesting. I mean, I would play it for sure. It's ramp. Why the fuck not? And make sure that I can play Risky your cards, basically. Yeah, I think we bury our bones here, try to surveil, and then draw into the surveilled card with Radical Idea. Not really looking for a Mephitic Vapors right now, friend. We have a blocker, so that's nice. For all my shit-talking barrier of bones. It's like... It's an okay card. Our opponent does not seem to be playing aggro, of course, if they're playing is at colors. So... I wonder what they're doing. It seems to be clear that I'm on the Grixis plan here. 
Oh god. Okay. Well, I think we're doing it, honestly. I think we're... Hmm. Are we doing it? I guess we're doing it. Like, I want to do it sooner than later, is the thing. Uh... Jeez, these are all out of order. Whoops. Okay. Um... I want to use all my mana, but I want to get rid of a threat of theirs. This is best of one as well, so like, mm. okay, well, that's good. <laughs> that, uh, that Muse Drake was not resolving anyway, I guess. Okay, well, I mean, if they're really going to use a direct current on my barrier bones, I'm super okay with that. Alright, draw me a land, please. That would be wonderful. Just so we don't miss our drops. And now we can... Well, we can't really use Necrotic Wound yet, but... Whatever. <sighs> I think we're in a good position here, honestly. At this point, we can start holding up counter spells, swinging with the Drake if we must. Hmm. Do we... Let's see. Do we go for this? I don't think we need to be greedy. Um, hmm. I guess. Why not? Turns our necrotic wound on. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. And at the point we do this, and then they'll probably direct current the Electromancer, or the Playcrafter, you know, probably both, but that is so okay. Or running them out of cards, and yeah. Oh my god! Holy shit! Well then! Oh. Please hit the plate. Oh, you greedy bitch. Hell yeah. Alright. Uh. How many? Three. Perfection. Okay. So we can. Do this. And then from there, we have, you know, a counter spell up, or an artful takedown, or just a kill spell. So we'll see. I kind of like my Electromancer. No, thank you. Hmm. Yes, I like this. A Necrotic Wound is, like, okay, you know? But... Probably Muse Drake, and... Hmm. Yeah, why not? I know I'm taking two creatures out of my graveyard, but like, whatever. <sighs> They're good creatures. They're very good creatures. And the Necrotic Wound is still okay. Alright. So that's our counter spell gone. Unfortunately. Like, there's a lot to potentially save counter spells for, but. Not too sure. The frustrating thing here is that I... I honestly probably should have discarded the Child of Night to the Radical Idea. Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Let's not. Holy shit. Okay, so they have a mystic of their own. Hopefully no counter spells. Oh god. Please don't draw into a counter spell as well. Oh thank fuck. Um I don't really want this. <laughs> okay. 
take that land to this card, I guess. Why not? Okay. So, this isn't awful. It's not good either. Okay. Um. Seems like a waste. I think I might be the beat down here, I'm not sure. This really seems like a waste to use. But I need to get rid of their Electromancer, I'm pretty sure. Okay. We'll type this, why not? And we'll kill this. And then we'll just swing. Their bird is not going to be doing enough to us. Hopefully we have this game. Unfortunately, <sighs> we might have. It might have been a better idea to force the trade with the bird, so that we could uh, play craft or whatever they played next. It's looking like that is true. We shall see. Hmm. Probably not going to block with the Book Devourer because they fear a trick or something. They'll probably block with the bird for the easy trade because they don't value the bird that much. And from there... Yup. Okay. Uh, I think Electromancer's job is done at this point. Like a blocker. Why not? We have an attacker. I'm such a control fuck. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll make them discard it. Or force it out. That works too. This is unfortunate. We are top decking, but they are one card ahead. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. It's the card I underestimated. Of course it is. Well, a matchup like this. Hopefully we'll just get to draw our bomb, our crackling drake, and go from there. Well, speak of. Mm. Alright. Large gentleman. Yeah. They've probably exhausted their removal spells. <sighs> so, despite ourselves, we do end up winning game one. I'm quite fond of decks like this. You know, I love control. We managed to force Grixis with little pain, honestly. Like, we got good Demir cards, we got good Izzet cards, we got a shit ton of fixing in our desired colors. We were really quite spoiled this draft, honestly. I really want to quasi-duplicate a Drake, but I fear that may never happen. Ugh, oh, such demanding costs in this deck. We will probably be punished by a Greed at some point. But, uh, if we're not, it makes it all the more fun. Pumbacle King. Another Fibblefoot Avatar. Mmm, this end sucks. We can't do anything before turn four, and that's if we get to four mana. Oh, I really hate mulliganing in draft, but I really hate this hand. Oof. I think we gotta do it. <clears throat> well, this is certainly us being punished for our greed. I should definitely keep one of these and put this to the bottom, because it's, you know, at least if we draw an island, these will help us surveil. But, like, 
We just need a land that's not a swamp. That's all we need. I mean, we need lands in general, but yeah. Ugh. Epic. Okay. Worst comes to worst, we will just surveil with dazzling lights. But, to, you know, to try to find a land, but yeah. Okay, that's... Whatever. Alright. Well, we got to play our baby. That's cool. I kept reading this as two and blue and black. This feels much better as a three drop. It's been so long, okay? And I can't read. <laughs> At this point, we got a fucking powerhouse on our hands, honestly. Realistically speaking, with the surveil giving this death touch, I'm quite happy with this. Like, obviously, if they have Conclave Tribunal or something, then we probably just lose the game, but what are the chances of that? So Mala Witch Aper lets them add something, right? Okay. Hunted Witness. Not awful. Like, if they have anything, we lose, but yeah. Do I surveil for another land? I think I do. I have enough surveil cards. Why not? Oh, I really want these! Fuck. Oh. I really want these. Um. Memory Mystic's just too good to ignore. But... But I need land, and... I don't think I want either of these. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna be greedy. We get the informant to hold down the fort, and then worst comes to worst, we'll, uh... We'll surveil away the mystic. Oh my god! This one's not happening. I'm so sorry. Oh, Christ. We need a second source of blue to use our devious cover-up soon as well. So that... I mean, devious cover-up's never gonna be bad, but yeah. Well, that's fun. That is fun. Okay. At this point, we do just wait, I think. You know, they might have blowout cards, but there's not much we can do. Are they gonna attack again? Dazzling Lights will make it a 1-6. Like, they probably have pumps, but we will trade with it. And it will be a 2 for 2, most likely. There it goes. Yeet. Or two for three if they use a combat trick. If not, then we're golden. Okay. So we put this here and then we leave the red mana as well. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, well. Hmm. Two. So you're just killing it. You're just making it a trade. Okay, so it was a two for three after all. That is. I'm okay with that. Now that we have begun unlocking our true potential, I'm okay with that. So unless, unless this card in their hand or another that they draw the next turn is huge, I think we're in an amazing position here because now we get Murmuring Mystic down and then we just hold up Devious Cover Up and go from there. I mean, we can put back some pretty amazing cards here. That's nice. Interesting. What are you doing? Oh, mentor. Hmm. 
You probably don't have a plus three plus three, right? Probably. Am I being greedy here? No. Okay. So I have like a shop isn't in this format, obviously, but you know. There's something. Okay. Hunted Witness is not real. What are the rest of the cards in their hand? Are they just really big convoke cards or something? I really want to catch a March of the Multitudes or something like that. Creator Maker is obviously pretty nice in this format, or in this uh, matchup. Creator Maker is just nice in general. Who would ignore a Creator Maker? Right, so at this point, we just... If they don't have a way to kill our Mystic, we just win the game. Probably. Maybe I should have taken two devious cover-ups of that. Oh, yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Can I take this? Oh, my God. Oh, I should... Shit. I should have, uh... I should have necrotic wounded something first. Fuck. I'm so good at this game. Well... That's a thing. I mean, no, you're not worth it. So here's the fun thing now. I get to Crater Maker something and then Necrotic Wound something, so that's cool. Do I? Let's see. Crater Maker and then, does it cost one or two to pop something? It costs one to pop it, okay. So I guess we'll get rid of something in their hand. Why not? And then we'll put Crater Maker down. And we'll probably try to make some blocks if possible. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I definitely should have just hit the wood shaper or something for the value. Maybe? I don't know. We'll get creatures in our yard soon. We'll see. Could have killed the Parhelium Patrol that way, but no, it wouldn't have attacked. Hmm. We'll see. Are they roping us? <laughs> for such an awful start, we're doing pretty well for ourselves, aren't we? Yes, we are. Don't have any other counter spells though, so... You know. Are you really? Okay. Um. I'm to... I'm going to just be fine with that, I think. Uh. You could just start hitting me out, I think. Is it instant? Did I use it as a sorcery? I did. I'm so good at this game. Okay. Don't need any more lands. Would love a draw card that triggers my lovely, lovely mystic. At this point, we're just probably making more blockers than they can make attackers. Again, if they have a March of the Multitudes, we may be fucked, but probably not. Like, they can make a bunch of creatures, but not too many. Okay. So... Here? Do I get the value out of this? No, we just wait. We just wait. Why not wait, you know? Cloud of Night, just in case. And... Yeah, I need We'll probably put this down. We will almost definitely not need to necrotic wound something at instant speed. We have enough blockers that we don't need to risk blocking with anything valuable. And yeah, all they're doing is summoning cats, which is respectable. By the way, I just want to make that clear. Grateful Stray is a very good kitty. Oh god, they definitely got a March of the Multitudes, didn't they? Or like some team-wide pump or something. This is scary. But let's see what we get. 
Can I get it back in there? Or do all of them? No. But this is okay too. We're just making birds. Like, what is their deck going to do against this? Alright, and this is Surveil, so. Piston Fist Cyclops. Not what I'm looking for. Our wind con is in the air. We just swing at him. Mm. God, I love Murmuring Mystic. <sighs> okay, so we don't get punished for our awful, awful two opening hands. For our awful, optimistic deck building, but like, you know. Ambitious, aggressive, foolish. All, all of the above. Does this say any target or target creature? Okay, so we can't speed up our clock just in case we whoop. Uh, why not? Ow. I just bumped my finger and it hurt. Uh, if we don't find a way to generate a sixth bird, then we will just uh, do this after the end of their next turn. Not this one. The end of their next turn. Just kill something off. Oh, uh, but they do have lifelink, so they can just attack anyway. But whatever. It's not important. What is this? Inspiring Unicorn. Inspiring Unicorn attack. Oh my god. No. Interesting, though. They would throw this into the way of my crater maker. Maybe they have other things that they want to protect from the crater maker's schemes? <laughs> crater maker being an onboard trick is just so great. Threat of activation is amazing. Meet your heart out, Marshall. Oh. I was about to say, friend. You approach me? I'm just gonna do this now. Why not? Kill the unicorn. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we don't have anything that... We don't have, like, any X spells or anything, so... We're good. Just doing that. Probably not winning next turn again because of their lifelink, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So they can draw a bunch if they would like to. I can't believe we're X2. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but like, come on. <laughs> really? Why? Surely not. I mean, yeah, they're gonna attack with their life linkers, but like, who cares? <laughs> uh, I feel good. Sadism suits me. If they attack with their lifelinkers, do we still win anyway from, like, other attacks? Probably not. They only attack with one lifelinker. Okay. Not gonna be enough for you, friend. Maybe they did the math. Wait, no, it is. Is it? Okay, so I didn't do the math. We are swinging with everyone, I think, except, obviously, the mystic. I think that's the play here. Anything they block with trades. And then we can make a bird. They're probably going to draw after 
infuriatingly enough, but, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. Do we save this? I don't know, they have a bunch of mana anyway. It's likely to never happen, it's just not going to trigger. Or, uh, is not going to hit anything. We're gonna have three cards in hand at the start of their coming turn, but then what? We'll probably be able to play them out. Did they do the math there? Okay. Cool. Alright. I'm going to leave this at that, just in case. Like, oh, does this take five mana? No, it takes four. Why did they not crack it? Was I missing something there? Weird. Mm. We take those. I mean, it was likely they weren't gonna gather this anyway. We had six birds, so, you know. Hmm. If we've reached the 40 minute mark, then I'll probably end here and start a new video for tomorrow. Oh yes, we are at 50 minutes. So, uh, didn't expect to be X2 starting out, so that's cool. Or O2, specifically. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to tell me exactly how I drafted and played awfully, and look forward to the next installment of this draft, probably coming very soon. If not tomorrow, then day after, most likely. I'm just gonna record it right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, follow me on Twitter, etc., etc., Hope you all have great days. Bye!